It is an honor. Certainly, um, it's a very progressive move. After more than 30 years of being away, Marion Riley is finally returning home. Well, the place looked a little different, not much different. The 1982 graduate flooded with memories as she steps on the court. And of course, this is where it's at. This is where we, we would practice from 3.30 to 5.30 every day. Memories that she's always reminded of when she steps into her new domain, the office of the Intercollegiate Athletic Director. I think she's going to be great, and I think we're all excited to work with her. Although one chapter of her career here at the college has come to a close, a new one is well underway. The first order of business being... Hiring a new women's basketball coach. Now maybe the offseason for both the men's and women's basketball teams here, but Marianne is making sure that this court receives a lot of action. In the meantime, this past Friday, Marianne announced a new women's head coach, Heather Woolen, as her first recruit. I learned a lot from Marianne's process. I always thought I was thorough, but Marianne is even more thorough. She's, I'm impressed by it. It's fantastic. I feel like this is not a stepping stone college for her, that this is going to be a college that she wants to stay at, she wants to lead. Marianne seemed to score her first victory with the recruitment of Vulin while making some new friends in the process. She was the first woman to get be a part of um, the Thousand Point Club and be in the Hall of Fame. I think that is a big point of what she is, like what she brings to the table, and that she, this is really home for her. Star athlete, friend, and a natural born leader, Marianne can do it all. She's changing the game doing what she does best, making history. This is going to be a fun adventure. Um, there's going to be challenges. Um, I'm sure there's going to be very difficult times, but I'm really looking forward to taking the helm. Ashley Columbia reporting from Manhattan College.